In this session, we are going to discuss 2D scaling and how this 2D scaling can be done in our two dimensional environment and in case of 2D transformation. So, the most basic transform is a scale along the coordinate axis and this transform can change the length and possibly the direction also. So, just consider this one. So, if we want to do the scaling factor having along the x axis is S x, if we consider the scaling factor along the y axis is S y, then the respective matrix will be written like this. So, S x 0 and 0 S y. In our 2D transformation in that very particular video, we wrote the generic uh, formation of this generic form of this matrix. Here we wrote A11, so now it has been replaced by Sx, A12, so it is now 0, A21 it is now 0 and A22 it is now being replaced by Sy. So, note that this matrix does uh, to a vector with a Cartesian components like your x, y. So, now let us suppose this x and y is the two coordinates of one point. So, with this, with this particular, this scaling matrix will be multiplied and you are going to get this scaled coordinates for the x and y. So, s x into x, we are getting this one plus 0 into y and then 0 into x plus s y into y. So, we are getting this one as a product output. So, so, just by looking at the matrix of an x align, aligned scale, we can read off the two scale factors. So, let us, I think it will be better if you go for one example for the better understanding. So, the matrix that strings x and y uniformly by a factor of 2. So, here we are having this factor of 2, so it will shrink. So, that is why you have considered s x as 0.5 and S y as 0.5 here. So, the res respective matrix will be having the form like this. So, if you move to the previous slide, S x will be coming here, S y will be going in there and zeros and zeros will be there. So, we written the same. So, 0.5 has come here, 0.5 has gone there and 0 and 0 is, is the same. So, the matrix has been represented. So, now let us suppose there is one diagram we are having and there is the respective scaling matrix. So, along the x axis, the the scaling has been done for 0.5 half of the length. Now, it is the height if you consider it has become half of that. So, scaling uniformly by half for each axis, the axis aligned scale matrix has the proportion of change in each of the diagonal elements and zeros uh, in the off diagonal elements. So, yes, we are having this 0.5 in this diagonal element and zeros in the off diagonal elements. Now, in this particular example, that is example number 2, a matrix which halves in the horizontal and increases by 3 halves in the vertical. So, S x will have the value 0.5 because half in the horizontal and 3 halves in the vertical means the S y will be S y will be 1.5. So, we have put that one and similarly, if you go for this, so this particular length will be halved and this particular length will be three halves. So, accordingly the corresponding diagram has changed its scaled shape. So, scaling non-informally in x and y. So, here uniform, uniformly we are not changing the scaling, they are having the factor is non-uniformly. So, the scaling matrix is diagonal with non-equal elements, you can find this one and note that the square outline of the clock becomes a rectangle and the uh, circular face becomes an ellipse. Obviously, there is a circular face has become ellipse and from the square it has been converted to the rectangle. So, in this way, in this particular video with proper examples, we have discussed what is 2D scaling. Thanks for watching this video.